Ciao a tutti, come state? Alright, welcome to my video. My name is Rebea Bailey and I do videos on about living in Italy because I currently live in the north of Italy, a city called Torino. And also I do videos on health and well-being. Anyway, let's get into this video. So we're going to talk today about about making friends when you come to Italy and what's it like what's it all about guys and yeah it's interesting it's definitely worth making a video about this topic because you know having a good friend or having a friend does or having friends does make life so much easier when you do come to any city or you're living in any country having good friends just make the experience in, in enhances the experience so yeah right so off the bat i can easily say that my experience of living in italy and making friends has not been that easy to make friends and from the experience of a lot of my friends they've all they're also in agreement with me a lot of the people that i have now met um especially the expats they will say that it's not very easy to make friends here in this particular city i can't talk for all of italy all i know is i can talk for the city that i'm in which is torino um it's not been the easiest and for sorry i'm outside so excuse the noise for people that you know of all different races and you know it, it just really just doesn't matter it's, i've got friends that look like me and i've got friends that are the complete opposite to me white blonde blue blue eyes blonde hair whatever and they find the same kind of um they run into the same type of challenges i wonder if i could get into a bit more light here they've they've run into the same challenges so yeah i just want to say oh is it, is it too dark here They've run into, it's gonna rain guys i think it's gonna rain they've run into the same type of um situations in terms of making friends here so ah what can i say what what advice can i give um hmm, it's an interesting one just be prepared to you know to not have friends for a while <laughs> prepared to be a loner for for a long time all right okay so let's let me give you three tips and pointers on what you can do in order to make it to make friends or to make life easier for yourself when coming to to um italy number one before you come here go online and go online and join some facebook groups uh, for the city that you're going to so for example if you're going to rome you go on a facebook page about rome and you start to join all these different groups and start to mingle and start to talk with people that are expats that live in rome okay why i say expats because i believe it might be the easiest uh, way in expats and then when you actually arrive in italy maybe you can make some italian friends i don't know but this is the the easiest way i find then join some Italian groups no it, uh, sorry some expat groups after you join expat groups you just start to interact with them just preview maybe six months before you arrive and you know sit familiar start to talk with them and then when you do arrive you've already got contacts there you already know people in the city and then it just makes life easy you can go for coffee they can show you around the place and even if they're not going to be your long-term friends the initial difficult period or the, the period where you you're trying to immerse it or trying to you know um adapt to your surroundings it'll make it a little bit easier okay tip number two is join start for instagram instagram page and you know just start posting on instagram and also put in the hashtag type in actually type in the hashtag uh, um, whichever country that you want to go to and actually start to look actually don't you don't have to create a page but just actually start to look for people in rome or people in the area that you're planning on moving to and then just start to hit them up and start to talk to them and start to add them start to follow them on your page and then just start just start engaging with them guys that's what i've been doing now with other people and that's what people have been doing with me via my instagram via my youtube channel or via my um instagram they said oh how are you blah 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 you want to go for a coffee blah 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 and that's probably how we started to make friends and it's just made life so much easier there's also meetup groups that you can um do number three is um meetups these are really good you can have conversations with other people you can arrange your own meetup group where you um 
I think you have to pay maybe a few euros per month, maybe five, ten euros per month to join this this group, to, 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 to join the website and then you then go on and join different groups. So Torino, there's probably one for Torino and you join there and then you start to mingle with people in these particular groups. There was one for English speakers, there's another one for people who wanted to learn English, just many, many different groups. So you Yeah, so as I said, I advise that you go on to meet up and then start interacting, start getting into these groups and just start mingling with people from um, the city that you're planning on moving to. And then when you arrive here, as I said before, you know, it's, go it's going to be easy. You've already got that there. You're not just like, oh my gosh, I'm alone in the city. You know, you have somebody, even if it's one person, it's all good. One person to travel with makes life better, it makes life easier in my opinion. All right, so that's the three tips that I can give you and I'm pretty sure they will work. All right, so if I was gonna give you another tip when you do arrive here, plan to do a uh, course, Italian course. And when you do this Italian course, guys, there's gonna be many people on this course like you. But you will find when you do this course that some of the people are maybe just passing through the city some of the people are students, but I'm sure you could, it will be quite easy for you to find at least one friend in this group of maybe uh, 12, 12 people. Last time before the COVID, I signed up to do an Italian course and there was lots of girls there. I was like, yes, friends, yes. And then um, there was people from South Africa, the UK, America, all over the world. And they were so nice. So I had one lesson and then we had lockdown. Yeah, we had lockdown. So I've not seen them people. I've heard from them again and I may probably never will. So that's okay. Um, so yeah, so that's basically it. Sign up for a course, learn Italian. Anything else I can think of? No. Um, they're, the, they're the best tips I can give you right now, guys. Just, just try them in order to make friends. I would say, you know, like put yourself out there, smile and talk to people, but where I am, that's not really the way. It's, I think it's always good to do that, but that's not going to guarantee that you have friends here. And I have spoken to, you know, Italian women about like, what is, what's their, what's their like impression or what is it like for them to make friends with somebody like, for example, an expat? Is it because of the language barrier? Why maybe some of them don't make effort with, um, you know an expat or whatever and um yeah that's pretty much what they said it's not to do with the language necessarily it's just that they have maybe they have their friends already and this is already their life we have come into their country type of thing and we've come into their type their their country and for them they see we might see it as oh it's oh it's fun things are great and i want to make new friends but for them this has always been their life so they don't maybe see the the, the 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 urgency to make new friends they've got their children from childhood and they don't really they don't really need to that's just it guys they don't really need to when i moved out I, I was like oh my gosh what's going on i just finding this you know it wasn't what i expected in terms of making friends and and then I spoke to, as I was meeting other girls, other teachers, whatever, in my school where I work, and they were like to me, no, Robert, I find it exactly the same. It's really difficult for us to make friends too. And another girl I spoke to from this place, and they said it's just really difficult to make friends with, you know, it, it's, not, it's not easy. So, you know, I hope that this video can help you to, you know, put these few things in place so that you can at least make one friend. And I know there's like hundreds of girls in Italy or in Torino that would like a friend or, but they find it very, very difficult. I, I can honestly say to you that I do not have any Italian friends. Um, yeah, and it's quite sad. I have been here for three years and I don't have any Italian friends. Most of my friends are from all over the world, Brazil, uh, Portugal, uh, this, uh, Poland, every, every other place but really Italy, which is pretty, which is quite sad, but that's okay. I do have some, um, some of my boyfriend's friends, girlfriends that I, um, that are acquaintances that I talk to, um, but that's really as far as it goes. I wouldn't say that we were friends, I just would say that we, we, are, we are acquainted through my boyfriend. Um, yeah, it's pretty sad. 
and you know for, I think for a lot of people especially if you've come from a different country you might not expect but you just would like maybe for, for people to to kind of like hand out that little olive branch and say oh come here let's go for a coffee or let me show you around the city or something like that I remember working at Fiat for maybe six to nine months I can't remember how long it was uh, accurately but I remember just going through the building going through the gates every single day people knew I was the English teacher and nobody said anything to me none of the women there was lots of women there and none of them said oh um how how are you do, you do you want me to show you where the canteen is do you want me to show you something do you want me do you, do you just need some help you know you're a human being do you, you know is everything okay are you breathing anything nothing nothing was said so that gave me an initial impression which wasn't so good and you know I literally just had to, to I don't know just improvise with my life in terms of not improvise that's not the right word but you know I just became more comfortable in my own skin and just did things that I had to do I knew eventually that I would make friends and I knew eventually that things were gonna were going to to um, to be okay not that it wasn't okay then but you know I was gonna become more comfortable in the city so you just have to take the rough and the rough with the smooth and then you know if you do go to a workplace where you do find you do encounter some people that are not so friendly for whatever reason you just have to roll with it guys just roll with it um, yeah and it's just not only you it's not personal it's just kind of right the way this the way some people are here maybe it could be a cultural thing there's many different things I've not I've not gotten to the I've not got to the bottom of it yet what the actual reason is but I just think people have made their own friendship groups from when there was a child for example like my boyfriend all of these friends then again yeah a lot of these friends he's known from primary school or from me from from young elementary or whatever and um and he still knows them he's grown with these people he's got a group of people from the gym a group of people from here a group of people from motorbike lots and lots of friends um so maybe he's not in the market to make new friends i i don't know i i don't know how it goes i don't know how people you know close it off and say oh no friends and i've always been the type of person where at university at school university I've always made friends very very easily I've always had I've always been uh, I would say people would say very popular I've always had a lot of friends and you know people just always kind of like naturally gravitated to me and it's been okay so when you when I come here it's been a little, little bit of a shock you know and of course I have to work a little bit more harder <laughs> a lot harder um, to make the friends but mm, yeah that's basically it for now guys i can't think of any more tips but if i do of course i'll make another video so listen to the tips that i gave you if you're planning on coming here and i think these tips can apply to anybody that's moving to any country in the world what, what they can do go on meetups just try to get as, as involved as possible virtually before actually moving to the city or moving moving country moving to whichever city you're going to move, move to you know and th this is the beauty of living in the age that we live in now is that a lot it's not strange to talk to somebody on social media and then meet them for a coffee and then start to talk with them you just have to be brave you know if you're going to move if it, in my opinion if you're going to if you're brave enough to move to a different country you're brave enough to put yourself out there to make friends and that's what you go you're going to have to do you're literally going to have to put yourself out there and I think it's important anyway, even if you do come here and you have a boyfriend here or whatever, you have your partner here, it's still very important to have your own relationships and, um, you know, have your own alone time away from your, your partner or whatever else. It's, I think that's quite important because um, if you are British like me and you live here and you don't, your, your first language is not English anyway, you're, you're quite reliant on your partner anyway. Just to help you to settle into the country you're quite reliant on them anyway so it's nice if you could do that you know have your own friends type of thing you know <laughs> have your own friends as well so you're not kind of like 24 7 <laughs> with your you know your partner's hates is healthy in my opinion you know everybody's relationship is different it works different but for me that's just what i like to do so yeah guys I hope you like this video it just was a quick one you can see the sun is going down outside of my house please like and subscribe because I'm really 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 
trying with this YouTube life. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Sending love. Ciao.